Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi, welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you this zhe dish known as Sangmin or crispy noodles in gravy. Ingredients are pretty simple. I have with me approximately about 200 grams of these uh, thin noodles. Okay, or they call it mikian. Okay, or wonton noodles. Some pork over here. I'm using the high meat, which I've already marinated in um, soy sauce, a little bit of a uh, pepper, sesame seed oil, and corn flour. Some squid, prawns over here. Two eggs, a couple of these uh, young corn or baby corn. Some chai shing. Over here, I have with me also one and a half tablespoon of this black soy sauce or dark soy sauce. Two tablespoons of this oyster sauce. One tablespoon of this uh, sesame seed oil. One tablespoon of uh, sao xing wine. And one whole bulb of uh, garlic chopped up. Plus of course, pepper. I have also prepared some stock, which have actually I've put in two pieces of chicken cube with two liters of water and the, the prawns head as well as the shell together. And I boil them for approximately about 45 minutes to get the, a sweet stock out from there. So let's start cooking it. Now in a pan of our boiling water, Put in the noodles, boil them. Now remember you must actually stir them because we don't want them to come together. You have to boil this for approximately about 45 seconds to 1 minute. After which you need to run it to cold water to wash off the flour and make it more al dente. And then we will just cook it again. Run it to cold water. This will wash off the excess flour as well as make it more al dente. But since we are will be keep frying it, it's basically used to actually um, just wash off the excess flour. As you can see, the water is starting to cloud up now. So just uh, wash it out a little bit, and then we're going to boil this again inside the hot water just to cook it. So we still breaking up after doing that. All right, so we put this in another forty-five seconds to one minute. Nice to cook the noodle because my flame is not that big. Um, although the water is uh, semi-boiling, it's not really boiling vigorously. Now, if your, your flame is on the high side, uh, what you can do is just uh, cook them approximately about 30 seconds and it will be done. Okay. Now this done ready. Let's just scoop this up again. So what I do is dry them up, put them inside a clean plate. I need to mix in some oil because I don't want to clump them because I'm going to deep fry the noodles in a while. So mix them up well so that the noodle will not clump together. Okay, and then we'll heat up some oil to deep fry the noodles. Into a hot oil, hot pot of oil. Uh, we need to fry the noodles, so I'm going to quickly spread them out and we'll fry them. Okay. I divided the noodles into three portions, and this is what I'm doing. Just leave them to fry. Now, how do you know whether it's done or not? When you actually see lesser bubble, that means there's no more, uh, not much water on the noodles anymore, and they become crispier. Now you can see that the bubbles has decreased quite a fair bit but together that yes we still need to fry a little bit more now the noodles it might stick to the bottom of your pan so all you have to do is just use a spatula just a lightly just a push it around a little bit okay it's pretty simple actually when you feel that the noodles is getting stiffer and uh, stiffer and it's uh, you can feel that it's getting crispy then you can actually scoop them up okay which is Another about five six seconds or so. But some, some, some part of the noodles are still a little bit wet. As you can see, the bubbles are there. Now I like to flip them over a little bit, so I'm just going to do that. Okay, just a quick one on the other side. I'll be very gentle because these are crispy already. Yeah. You don't want to really break the noodles up actually. But it's actually very crispy already. So I'm just going to take them up and drain the oil off. Repeat with the rest of the noodles. Heat up about one tablespoon of oil. Fry the garlic. I'm just going to use half of it for this fragrance. Okay, just now I, I mentioned about um, frying a whole clove itself, uh, or rather chopping up a whole clove. Um, if you want to use everything, you can also if you like more garlic, but I think it's enough for me, so half will be fine. Okay, I'm going to end in the stock right now. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, the stock is actually used, um, I mean made using the prawn heads, prawn shell and I use a uh, two chicken stock cube actually inside here with a uh, two liter of water. So now I'm just using approximately about one liter, one liter of water. The other one liter actually I'm going to reserve it um, for use 
in I mean maybe in the evening when I want to cook it again. Put the lid on, let it boil. Now when the stock is boiling, you're gonna put in the seafood and of course the pork. In goes the pork, separate them out as you put them in. Mini prawns. The squid, calamari, as some would like to call it. The baby corn. The veg I'll leave it for a while before I put it in because this cook very very fast. So I'm going to add in also the oyster sauce. Give it a good stir around. And then put in the dark soy sauce. Now if you like your gravy to be darker, you can actually put more or if you don't like it to be so dark, you can actually lessen the quantity of the dark soy sauce. It is the color that I want. Now before we actually put in the cornstarch or cornstarch solution, we're going to give it just a gentle taste just to make sure that it's uh, salty enough and the taste is to our liking. Okay. Of course, uh, right here now I haven't put in any salt and uh, or sugar yet at this moment, but the oyster sauce is uh, a little bit on the salty side, so let's just try this. Mm. It tastes really, really good. I just need a little bit of salt, so I'm gonna add in approximately about half a teaspoon of salt, as you can see from here. Put this in. Now prepare some cornstarch solution. You're gonna thicken it, right? Stir the cornstarch solution. You're just going to thicken it. Now, whether you want it more liquid or, or slightly more thicker, it really depends on how you like your gravy to be. Okay, adding bit by bit. You can see it actually thickening up already. Right? Okay, this is how I like it to be. Okay, I'll be adding in eggs or so. So in goes my egg. Okay, we are almost done ready. So we'll put in the sesame seed oil, just round the side, just to enhance the taste a little bit. Of course, the saucing wine or so. And finally, the veg. We put it in because it cooks very, very fast. So just put them in, and of course, some pepper to enhance the taste. Right, now we just gotta stir everything together. And we are done. Okay, time to plate them up. So ladies and gentlemen, this is my version of the crispy noodles with gravy or sanmin as they call it. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.